person already using the brand new system. Hi guys, I'm Gaby Isabella and I will be your tour guide for a day. I will show you all the best destination in Bali and I will take you all along with me on an epic 3 week holiday in Bali. So let's go, this is going to be fun. First thing first, transportation. To explore Bali, I will recommend you two transportation options. The first one is by riding a motorcycle. You could rent a motorcycle or a scooter for 50,000 rupiah per day. But if you don't feel like driving on your own, then here comes the second option. You could rent a car for 500,000 rupiah per day, private driver included. Simply jump in, tell your driver exactly where you wish to go and he'll navigate the most efficient route. Okay, so here is the plan. For the first week, we will explore Chenggu, and then the second week, we will explore Uluwatu. And finally, the third week, we will explore Nusa Island. For a place to stay in Chenggu, I suggest you to check out the hideout hostel. Estimated price is around 250,000 rupiah per night. This hostel also provides free yoga and serve theory lessons. So, there is a bonus point. First destination, Black Sand Beach. This beach serves grey and black sand and muted blue ocean. But the ground here is not dark because it's dirty, it's volcanic sand, and there is no entrance fee in this place. This beach is one of the last stops in Chenggu for avid surfers. The waves are too big and too strong for swimming. However, as a casual visitor, you are offered calming scenes around sunset and there is no entrance fee. Nestled on the foreshore of Echo Beach, this place got an absolutely breathtaking decor and sustainably sourced food. Minimum spend in this place is around 150,000 rupiah per person. This one is Chenggu's iconic shopping and restaurant village. Here they sell everything from clothing to souvenirs and heaps of beautiful jewelry. The price range is around 10,000 up to 150,000 rupiah. For a place to stay in Uluwatu, I suggest you to check out Bali Beats guest house. Estimated price is around 100,000 rupiah per night. The Karang Boma Cliff is one of the best sunset viewpoints in Bali. Sitting on the west side of the peninsula, the sunset view from here is simply unbelievable. The entrance fee is 10,000 rupiah. Melasti Beach is a beautiful beach located below a high cliff. Unspoiled blue sea and white sand make this beach to be one of the best in the Ungasan region, and there is no entrance fee. Thomas Beach offers a 200 meter stretch of soft white sand, rolling turquoise waves, and a cluster of shady beach umbrellas. And there is no entrance fee. Known as the Balinese Pipeline, this sandy beach is one of the best surf spots in Bali. Padang Padang is actually two breaks, the famous left break and the gentler beach break. There is no entrance fee for this place. For a place to stay in Musa Island, I suggest you to check out Bintang Hostel and Homestay. Estimated price is around 100,000 rupiah per night. A stunning white sand, silky blue water, limestones, and palm trees are creating a dream destination. Diamond Beach is without a doubt one of the things you must do on Bali. The entrance fee is 10,000 rupiah. Manta Point is one of the most iconic dive sites in Bali. This place offers you the opportunity to swim with Manta Ray. Estimated price for snorkeling in this place is around 200,000 rupiah. 
Angel's Billabong is one of the magical spots you can help but marvel at. A crystal clear tide pool cascades into the ocean on the east coast of Nusa Penida. The entrance fee is 10,000 rupiah. Blue Lagoon is your spot if you are on the hunt for cliff jumping in Bali. The cliff edges and rock formations make for an awesome setting to sit and watch the waves crash. There is no entrance fee for this place.